بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome dear viewers Welcome to a new video Today we will continue talking about the diphthongs in English sounds And today we will start with the first video talking about the first sound in diphthongs In the previous video we talked about some features and some characteristics and about the definition of uh, these sounds in English and about the numbers of the uh, diphthongs in English language. And today we will continue talking about uh, diphthongs and today we have the first video about the first sound. Our first sound for today is the sound ia, as you see on the picture, the sound ia. So, if we talk about this sound, we have two different sections. Actually, the first section is talking about how to produce this sound and the second section about the common spellings about the letters that uh, shape or make this sound. So, if we talk about uh, this sound, we can say that this sound is called centering diphthongs. And as we said before, we have three different sounds who are belonging to this category centering diphthongs. The first sound is uh, ia that we are going to talk about this sound today and the second sound ea and the third one is oa. So diphthongs that glide from front position to more central position are called centering diphthongs. And our sound today is ia, is gliding from the e sound from the front position to the center position of the uh, tongue. Uh, it, it is going to the sound schwa. And if you look carefully at this picture, and uh, I know you are familiar with this picture, this picture is about the tongue. And as you see, we have different positions for the tongue, uh, the front and the center and the back. And if you look carefully at this sound, ia, it consists of two sounds. The first one is the front sound, e, and the second sound is schwa, which is called a. Uh. So when we are producing this sound, your articulation, your organs of articulations are going to produce this sound by mixing between the front sound e and the second sound a, the schwa sound. As you see, there is a kind of gliding from e to a sound. So let's talk in brief about this sound ear. This is a diphthong. It means a double vowel sound. It consists of two uh, single vowel sounds, e and a. Uh. The first sound, e, is longer and louder than the schwa sound. And this is a rule for all the diphthong sounds. The first sound is longer and louder, and the second sound is shorter and it's not the same length as the first one. And the schwa sounds flowing as it glides towards mid-front. يبقى احنا عندنا هنا لو تكلمنا عن هذا الصوت ايا نجد انه يتكون من صوتيين اثنين الصوت الاولاني اللي هو اه وده الصوت يصدر من مقدمة اللسان ثم يتجه الصوت منحدرا الى center to the, the center of the the tongue إلى منتصف اللسان أو مركز اللسان متجها إلى الصوت أ اللي هو إشوا مكون هذا الصوت in a tightened position. هنجد هناك تشديد في اللسان عند إصدار هذا الصوت. استمعوا إلي وانظروا إلي جيدا. إيا 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 الأول يحصل عملية تشديد ثم يحصل ما يسمى بالريلاكسيشن 
relaxed both lips يحصل عملية استرخاء في الشفتين so that the body of the tongue returns to a relaxed position يحصل تشديد في جسد اللسان أو في عضو اللسان ثم يحدث بعد ذلك عملية استرخاء The first step is to tighten the, the, the position of the tongue and the second step is to relax the body of the tongue يحصل عملية تشديد ثم استرخاء وإحنا متجهين إلى the center of the, the, the mouth or the center of the tongue تعال نشوف الصوت الصوت بي بيصدر ازاي او صوته بيكون شكله ايه نشوف اللقطة دي مع بعض ونشوف الصوت يصدر ازاي ear okay ear. so the sound ear is a, a, a double sound double vowel sound يتكون من صوتين وموجود في كلمات زي ما احنا شايفين زي كلمة hear or rear اللي بيحصل ايه عملية transition انتقال between the two sounds from the sound اه اللي موجود in the front وينتقل الى الصوت اشواء اللي موجود in the center of the, the tongue so it is a, a, a long sound تعالوا مع حضراتكم let's watch a video from a native speaker the native speaker uh, produces this sound correctly and properly and try to look carefully and deeply to the shape of the mouth and how uh, the native speaker produces this sound. Let's watch together. Ear. Ear. Good. So if we talk in a brief about this sound, as you say, the sound ear, uh, your mouth will start on the position of the e sound and finish on the position of the sound uh, the schwa sound uh, we can see this sound and we can listen to this sound in different different many many words like as we see on the picture like the 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 word year here really okay so many different sounds uh, are, are produced by using different uh, letters. Now let's come to the, the second part of this video. We will talk about the common spellings for the sound ear. A هي الحروف اللي بتكون لي هذا الصوت. أول مجموعة حروف بتكون لي هذا الصوت ear هما الحرفين er والحروف ere. ونشوف مثال عليهم في الكلمات اللي موجودة. Material, hero. Here. ايضا الحروف اي اي ار والحروف اي اي ار زي الكلمات الموجودة عندي ديا فيا كارير ايضا الحرفين اي اي موجود في الكلمات ماتيريال بريليانت فاميليار وايضا الحرفين اي اي بيكونون ايضا الصوت اي زي كلمة idea area وايضا الحروف e u e o e o u like the words museum theological curiosot curiosot وايضا الحرفين i e زي الكلمه fierce spaniel وأيضا الحرفين I O and I O U مثل الكلمات period, opinion, previous وأيضا الحروف I U الموجود في الكلمات medium, stadium, union هذه هي الحروف التي تكون لي الصوت إيا إذا ليست هناك فرق كما تكلمنا في اللقاءات السابقة between spelling and pronunciations so you have to be careful about the pronunciation of the words it's not uh, necessary to produce all the letters in a word and sometimes there is a modification and there is something is not normal when you are producing the sounds so you have to be careful about the sounds when you are producing the sounds 
دي نهاية حلقتنا في أول فيديو في الأصوات المدغمة أو الأصوات الثنائية وإن شاء الله سوف نستكمل وإياكم بقية الفيديوهات عن بقية الأصوات التي تحدثنا عنها وقلنا إحنا عددها ثمان أصوات وإن شاء الله سوف نستكمل الحديث عن بقية هذه الأصوات Uh, this is the end of our video for today. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have any comment or if you have any recommendation, please, please don't hesitate to write it in the, uh, the comment box below. And uh, all things you will say will be considered. And thank you so much again for watching. Astaudi'akum Allah wa alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.